Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back. This is Jeff from Torpedoes and Tarantulas, and this afternoon we have another unboxing. That being said, let's get into it. And as usual, I have my trusty Buck 119 75th anniversary, which makes really quick work of this tape and all that good stuff. That's one of my huge pet peeves on unboxings. It's how slow everybody cuts the tape and all that kind of stuff, but whatever. Anyways, I am pretty excited about this package, but after watching my last unboxing video, I decided I poured the enthusiasm on a little bit too much. So I decided to dial it back just a little bit. For those of you who don't know, this is the seller that I got these creatures from. This is Pinchers and Pokies. This is my second purchase from Pinchers and Pokies in a week now. Um, as you can see, really nice packaging. This right here is a cool pack. Still kind of cool. And then of course a little layer of insulation in between there to protect the, the, the inverts. And of course, really nice packaging as always. Communication with these guys is great. Um, if if the temperatures are a bit warm, they'll tell you I didn't like the temperatures, so we're going to hold off. Uh, Eric and Amanda are the, are the two that run it, and they are great. Um, so far, my experience has been pretty positive with these guys, so I would I would highly recommend them. If you're looking for tarantulas or scorpions or, you know, things like that, um, I'm pretty excited about this package here because inside this package is a new tarantula. I did get a new tarantula in this purchase, but I also, if you watched my last video, on my first purchase from Pinchers and Pokies was some scorpions, and I got a new scorpion, and this particular scorpion that I bought, this time, they just recently put in stock. In fact, he let me know through an email after I emailed him and told him that my other scorpions arrived alive and well. He told me that he had just finished adding some hot scorpions. And if you don't know what that means, that means they are highly venomous. That their venom is medically significant, which means it can mess you up. So that's one of the purchases that I made was a hot scorpion. We'll get into that here in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of open this up. And we have our two packages, our two different vials in here. This is the tarantula, and this is the scorpion. Awesome. Okay, guys, you guys sit tight, grab a friend, tell them to check this video out, because we're going to see some pretty cool specimens coming up right here. Let me get set up, get the enclosures going, and we'll rehouse these guys. All right, guys, and so first up is my new tarantula, and it is a swing. And this is the Brachypelma albiceps, the Mexican golden red rump. I hadn't taken notice of this tarantula until um, in the last few weeks or so. I saw a video of someone that had one of these. And sorry about the lighting, guys. Hold on. That's better. So like I said, I had never really taken um, any notice in this tarantula until a few weeks ago. I saw a video, I don't remember who it was, that had one of these. And I saw and realized how beautiful they were. And just out of boredom, I was looking on websites. And I looked on Pinchers and Pokies. And they had this guy in stock. And when I looked, they only had one. And I thought, boy, that thing is going to go fast because these guys are um, pretty rare in the hobby. And so I thought, there's no way I'm going to get it. And, well, it was still in stock the other day. And, of course, I knew it was going to be tiny. The description of it was a quarter inch. And there it is. But I just, I thought there was no way I was going to get a hold of this thing. That it wasn't going to stay in stock long enough. But I was wrong. And here it is now. I know that these guys grow slowly. 
but I'm willing to be patient because this is a beautiful tarantula. I'm not sure, oh, it's nice and lively, whether I should put it in this enclosure that I made for it or take it out of this little tub and then make this tub up and put it, well, there we go. It kind of made, it up, made up its own mind there. Hold on, guys, just a second. All right, so this enclosure may be just a hair big for it, but it'll grow into it. I'm pretty sure. I'm really excited about this species. This is another one of those that after I discovered it and saw how beautiful they were, I really wanted one. So there we go. There is my first acquisition, my first new acquisition, my Brachypelma albiceps. Keep an eye out for some updates on that. Let's get on to the real deal. Let's get on to the scorpion, guys. And last but not least is my scorpion. This is the, I can only guess how to pronounce this. I'm, I'm good at, at scientific Latin names of tarantulas, but I'm terrible on scorpions. The, the Leoris jordanensis. Sorry about the glare off the light, off the flash, guys. This is the black death stalker. Leoris jordanensis. This is, according to the website in their description, a third instar, so it's still quite young. But since it is such a hot species, we're not really going to be taking many chances with this thing. I'm going to pop the top off of this, and that's going to be the last time I touch this thing with my hands here, guys. Um, depending on uh, like what websites you read or whatever, this is basically the second most venomous scorpion in the world next to the Hottentata Tumulus or the Indian Red Scorpion. Uh, the scorpion here is native to uh, Syria, Israel, and those areas. Now this scorpion probably would not kill a healthy adult, but unhealthy adults, adults with health issues or children would be uh, a lot more susceptible to a fatality from a sting from one of these guys. And I have seen videos on these. I believe Alan Hicken, the Spider-Man, has a black Deathstalker scorpion. And I just thought it would be so fascinating to have such a deadly creature in my house. Naturally, we will be completely and totally responsible with this thing. And as with anything else that's deadly, we will treat it with the utmost respect. I'll treat this thing almost like as if I had a pet um, a pet rattlesnake or something in the house. There's not going to be any handling or putting my hands inside the enclosure or anything like that. This enclosure is quite large for it, but again, it is, it's a pretty small animal, so it will have plenty of time to grow. There's a couple of more accessories that I wanted to add to this. The piece of bark that I took from my pecan tree out front, of course, I treated the crap out of it. And I found this out in the yard. And of course, I treated the crap out of it too. It's a bird skull. And what symbolizes death better than bones, especially a skull? So we're going to put that in there too. So this guy will feel nice and at home. And I'm really looking forward to, as I stick my hands in here, really looking forward to, uh-oh. That bark's just a little bit too big. Got to get the power tools out, guys. Hold on. Let me get my Dremel and cut this bark down, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're done. Now you know that your projects are getting really fun and interesting when you've got to break out the power tools. But I think that should suit it just fine for quite a while. And then, as I said, the finishing touch, just basically for looks, the bird skull. And there it is, folks, my Laoris jordanensis, the black Deathstalker scorpion. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a line in the comments and tell me how much you enjoyed it or how much you didn't enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to, please do that. But that's up to you. I'm not going to make you. 
If you want to share this video, please, please, excuse me, feel free to do so. I hope you guys have a great night. Look out for some more update videos real soon. Take care. God bless, guys.